I'm glad you could spare the time to watch my video. Today we're doing a steer runner. So without further ado, let's crack on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go any further, there is at least 80% of you that are watching my videos, but you're not subscribing. Let me give you a moment to subscribe. Thank you. Now let's crack on with that video. Glad you can join me. Well, here's a steer runner. That steer runner is 62 centimeters wide and the gap down the side is seven centimeters. This is it before we actually fitted the carpet. And now we're gonna push on and cut the grippers. The width of the gripper stick that uh, I'm cutting is 59 centimeters. We're also doing a top landing as well, or should I say a half landing, which I am grippering. As you can see from the underlay, we're going to do the full half landing, um, which means that we're going to have to do a wrap round at the front, as in the style of a ball nose. Check in the far direction here. around the front to make the shape of the nose. Um, I should be using my trusted 606 stapler that fires Brad's and you names. I'm now putting the underlay down. I also attached the grippers. Uh, the grippers are 59 centimeters wide and they are nine centimeters away from the corners. So you put the nine, nine centimeters in, which allows the carpet of 62 to sit on it and it should cover the underlay and the gripper. Now we're ready to fit the carpet. I'm stretching in the top step into the gripper with the knee kicker. Just to make sure that the carpet is tight. While doing so, I'm making sure that I have got my seven centimeters from each side make sure that the carpet is centre. I then staple the top step down to make sure it doesn't move while I bolster in the rest of the stairs as I come down. I'm now getting ready to staple the riser.
As you can see, I am constantly checking the distance to make sure the gap is correct. Keep the carpet centered as you come down the stairs. Now if you find that when you're measuring it that you're running off centre, all you need to do is pull it out and recenter it and uh, start again. And I would suggest that you check to make sure the carpet is centre every other step. Um, you go further than that down and then realising that you're off centre, you, you've got to pull out more carpet, it just makes the job harder. Now we've got down to the bottom. If you look on the right hand side, you can see the nail post. Now the gap between the nail post and the carpet will always be smaller because the nail post is wider. But if you check the gap behind the nail post, it will still be seven centimeters as it is on the other side, the carpet is centered. Right, we're just about finished with this now. And there we go, you've got your seven centimeters. Just like magic, all done. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.